Good morning, traders. Uh, Asian sessions looking to open mostly down uh, following Wall Street's lead where US stocks finished uh, mostly low on what was a real risk off session with mixed data releases, a miss in the retail sales being the main one um, and ongoing concerns about the, the debt ceiling uh, impasse that's going on there. And, and what else, it didn't help as well, a real lackluster forecast from retail giant Home Depot, which is also a Dow component. Um, Dow led losses down over 300 points. NASDAQ was the least worst uh, performer of the day, just ticking down at the end of the session there, down 22 points. Now, debt ceiling concerns are really coming to the fore with a meeting between the White House and um, congressional leaders failing to make too much progress on Tuesday. Uh, likely we'll be hearing quite a bit more about this impasse as both sides seem to be playing chicken with each other. Um, and I'm, I'm expecting risk sentiment to deteriorate as this, uh, as this goes on until a deal is made. Um, FX markets, we saw the US dollar firmer on the session. That was the back of rising bond yields, um, debt ceiling induced haven flows, uh, retraced most of Monday's losses and pretty much unchanged for the week at the moment. Euro was flat against Euro, Euro, US dollar. Did see gains against the pound though. It was um, some hawkish ECB commentary, commentary by uh, Holzman. So the Euro pound is um, retook that 87 handle. Um, I'm thinking this one might have some legs. I mean, as the the uh, interest rate differentials really come to the fore between the ECB and the Bank of England. I think um, the euro pound is certainly one to watch and should give it a tailwind. Aussie and Kiwi both declined on some weak Chinese data. The Aussie being uh, the worst performer. I've seen the Aussie Kiwi get down below, below that kind of pivotal 107 level where, where it's been a, a pretty good buy um, at these levels and recently. Um, commodities gold tumbled in Tuesday's session. We went smashed down below that 2000 support, which had been pretty heavy resistance up to a couple of weeks ago. Um, this is the lowest level it's got since May the 1st. So it's re-entered that range that kept it uh, tight in, in April. So I'm interested to see if it uh, holds this or if it can break back above or, or if it breaks the bottom of the range. Now this was a safe haven flows seeming to be going more to the US dollar and Japanese yen. Also the um, uh, rising bond yields made the made gold a little bit uh, less of a, of a buy for, for traders. Now, crude oil was also lower on Tuesday. Um, weak economic data out of China and US stoking some demand fears. Uh, there's a, a real upper trend line that USO, USD kind of bounced off as well if you're looking for technical signals. Um, getting down to that 70 handle and, and, then un, and some ongoing procrastination from the US administration about when and where they're going to refill this uh, SPR is also probably weighing on the prices a bit. Uh, today's economic calendar is pretty light. Um, in the Asian session, the main one would be the wage price index out of Australia. Now, the RBA has referenced this a lot in its decision making, so it could see some volatility in the Aussie dollar at that time. The other one worth watching will be the Bank of England governor, um, Governor Bailey, who will be speaking later tonight. Uh, with the market split on the Bank of England's next move, that could also see some, some action in the pound there.